This demonstration is going to show you how to take slides that you've created with Reveal.js and run them locally. Now you will want to do this, you may want to do this if you do not have access to internet and the problem if you do not have access to internet you do not have access to your slide notes. Let's take a look at what I mean here a little bit. This is Reveal.js that's an HTML5 slide presentation, very nice flashy, new, you can go up, down, left, right, really looks nice. And a nice feature of this is if you are in Reveal.js and you have put your slides on some sort of server, be it Dropbox or whatever, and you press S, you will get this screen here. And you can run this on your desktop while your viewers are seeing just the slides move. And here's what you have access to. You have notes that you've made to yourself, which your audience can't see. You have the current slide. You have the next upcoming slide. You have the time and the elapsed time. This is very nice for presentations. However, the problem is if you try to run this locally, let me show you an example of that, where you just click on the index file. I mean, everything looks normal as long as you have all your dependencies. But if you hit S, it will tell you that it cannot run them you need to be on some sort of server and that's what we're gonna do today is learn how to create a local server so we're not dependent on the internet and the way to do that is to follow the instructions that are set up on reveal.js github site you type that in to google and you should be able to find the github site come down to where it says installation and he has under full setup six really nice uh, steps to be able to create a local um, reveal.js full setup that will enable you to um, view your slides and still have access to slide presentations even when you don't have the internet. Okay, uh, I'm using a Windows machine on this so some of the commands I'm giving you may be specific to Windows you'll have to adjust accordingly. First step is to step number one Node.js come in click it and hit install pretty straightforward. Uh, next step is to hit grunt a little less straightforward on a Windows machine and you have to take this line of code right here and then run that in your command shell as an administrator just going into your command shell is not good enough you have to run it as an administrator to do that you come in the bottom left hand corner where you have that little windows icon type in the box the search box cmd and hit shift control enter and that will bring up your administrator can command line and then you can just paste that code npm install dash grunt dash or dash d dash grunt dash cli and you run that I'm not going to do that that will install grunt I've already done this the next step is to clone the repository take this line of code here and run it in some kind of git command line I'm going to choose git bash I've already installed git on windows open up the command line for git bash and here I can't cut and paste I would have to type git clone and I'm not going to type it out but you'd clone the reveal JS repository you'd run that and what that would do is in your home directory create a install of the reveal JS repository mine is actually not in my home I've already put it moved it here to copy you might want to move it around a little bit and we open it up and all the um, goodies that you would want for reveal JS are already in there ready to go your next step then is to install dependencies. There's actually an in-between step here that's not addressed. Inside of that window, Windows command line, remember CMD or whatever, administrator command line, shift, control, enter, you need to change your working directory. and then you do that on a windows box by typing cd and then you need the directory of that reveal repository and you'll actually do this yes this time but every time you want to run presentation notes you'll need to do this step okay the next step is to install the dependencies just run that code right there i'm not going to do it because i've already done it and that only has to be done the first time 
this fifth step, grunt serve, will have to be done every time you want to run a presentation locally, unless you've already run it during that Windows session and your command line still open. Paste it, you run it, and it will say running watch task waiting. That's a good thing. This last line here, if you, whatever server you're in, you type that into the URL search and you're in business, you're running it as a local server. You can tell because if I hit S, my side notes come up as expected. And the nice thing is if you create other reveal slides, you can just place them inside of this same reveal folder along with the index file. And I'll show you what I mean here. Let's copy and rename this foo. Let's say you created slides called foo. To access those foo slides locally, still localhost 800, but then type in foo.html and they're gonna actually going to be identical slides, but you now have those slides access with slide notes. It's been a tutorial on how to get your slide notes locally without an internet connection for Reveal.js.